for summer because I don't have a summer wreath. I usually use the, my Easter one for spring and then I take it down and I usually don't put one up until it gets into the fall. So I wanted one for summer. So I found me some, I found me a heart um, wreath that came from Dollar Tree and I found me some fake flowers that we're going to do. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, this is what we're going to do. So let's do this. Okay, so I did, I was trying to figure out what I, how I was going to do this because I did, sorry, I did my Valentine one. And my Valentine one, it kind of fell apart because it wasn't in very well into the inside here. So this might have to be glued to. So I got my glue gun going. I'm going to turn it on high for a few minutes and then I'll lower it. So I found the heart shaped thing. So I found some um, daisies. I wanted the yellow ones but they didn't have any. So these are cute. I thought they would be pretty. And what I've been trying to do is make me some bows here too. Um, and then I put the flower in between. and. Um, I gotta make a couple more of these, so I'll show you how. I did this one. I like this one, I think, the best. But this thing right here, when I did the the bottom, um, the this this one, I made a bow out of it. I kind of made it too small, so you really can't see it with the flower there. So the next one I make with this, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So you can be with me for that. Okay, so what I was trying to to do is figure out how I can keep these in here. And I had to I had to YouTube it. So I did and I found a girl who, who did this and what she does, she she cuts the styrofoam, gets a block, which I had this, I bought it at Dollar Tree a while ago, and we're gonna cut it. And what we did, I'll take these flowers out so you can see. What we did is that um, I just put the styrofoam in. I put it this way instead of this way. Now she had it the long way, but I did it this way. So, and then I tied it with my my rope here. So I have lots of that, so I got that. So it's been working out. Um, and then all you do is take your flower and you just poke it in the holes. And see, they stay. Now, if they're not going to stay and you want more security, you can always stick some hot glue gun, glue in there and in the hole and, and then stick it back in there. So, um, yeah. So, you can arrange it the way you want. Now, I want to do this like here and do this one right here. I think you guys can see this. Let me move you up a little bit. Oop, backing you out. There you go. I'm going to bring you a little closer. There you go. So you can see. There we go. Alright, so then I, I kind of, you know, you want to do a pattern. That's fine, you know. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. And I just stuck them in here. Because I was just playing around and then I had to leave because I had to go see, see my mom. So, um, yeah. So there you go. And see, they're staying in there. Pretty good. Not bad. I mean, that one fell out on me earlier, so I was like, well, if I have to, I will put hot glue in there, and, and that should keep it in there even better. So, then I was thinking I could do one of these flowers here. Now, this is curling on me. I don't know why, but it is. I, I wanted it long. So, what I can do, I can put it up like that, and see, and put it up like there, like so. So, I might do that. And, um, but first, we're going to do this part here. So I'm going to cut this up. I just got a thing here. And we're going to cut some of this off. And I thought this was a great idea. I mean, some people use that piping, 
um, stuff to twist it, and then some you can use those, um, oh, what do you call that? The straps, the clear straps that, that click. You could use those. I can't remember the name of them. And you can use those. Now, what she said, you just put this in here, and it's going to be harder going around the curve, but um, that's why I thought going like this, this long way, would be a little bit better. But you have to be careful, too, because you don't want it to be seen. And she says you can push down in it and just push down on it. And you can just use it right here. You don't have to, you know, I'm just trying to, yeah, yeah, try to put it in there somehow. Anyways, um, let's try, I want to show you how I did that. So you guys are interested. Now, she did it this way. That's how she did it. Um, and then tied it, but I kind of like it this way better, for me anyway, so, and she went all the way around her wreath and used these, see, it just, it cuts off the, the end here, so, um, yeah, so, we, I just pushed it down, and I can cut that piece off, because then that way it won't be showing, and what I'm gonna do, I pushed it into there, but it won't have room there, it won't bounce back because of the heart. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie it. So I'm going to make sure I have enough here to tie. And we'll just tie this. And you can tie it. And then it's good to go. Just want to make sure you got long enough, you know, to, to be able to tie it. That's my thing. Okay. Make sure you got it long enough. And the first time I did, I made it really small. And I didn't want to bring it in until I figured out what I thought would work. So, And this is not going to be seen because you're going to have flowers on there. So it's not going to be seen at all. So I'm just going to tie it in a nice big huge knot. And if I can get it. Uh, I kind of play with it and so when I'm and the other piece went inside see and it's wedged here and I like it like that because I didn't want it to overlap on this side if you overlap on that side then you might see it and I didn't want it to be seen so and then you just take some of these flowers and I'm just poking them that's all I did was poke them in there and um I'm still going to put this one, I think, up there. And then I have another one here. And I'll put this one on this side. And then I'll make another one of these bows up on the top here. So I just kind of play with it and see what you like. Um, so i just tearing these off here. And uh, I got the plain one. So I want to put, a, put one of these in here and kind of just do it like that. And what you can do, they say use it, you can use these um, leaves. You can use the leaves in there too. So we can take this leaf here and take it off. And I can just fill it in and put, you know, a leaf here if I want, you know. And put it maybe underneath a little bit here. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. And you can kind of just do it like that if you want. So, you know, yeah. And then, see, and then that, it gives it a little bit of color if you want to do it like that. So you just got to kind of play with it and see what you like and uh, go from there. So we're going to do some more of this and you guys can... Sit here with me and watch me for a few minutes. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this real well. And then I will fast it and it go faster and that way you don't have to watch the whole thing. Um, yeah, see. And I'll be able to do it like this and put it in like that. And 
it, you can just set it down. I mean, you, you don't have to let it sink in there, but I kind of like the extra support there. So i got to kind of take these flowers out here and um, put another one here. So, and I think it will work pretty good, um, you know. And you can put them close together if you want. Um, yeah. And nobody's going to see this part here. It doesn't look that pretty, but you're not going to, you know, your flowers are not going to be sh showing it, so that'll be good. And we'll just cut it off. And just do another bow here. And to me, it's just another security. You know, it's just going to help it. That's all it's going to do is keep it all together a little bit better. So, and just tie it up. And you can tie, you can cut these ends off if you want to. Make it a little bit neater. You know, after you tie the knot in it. And, uh, yeah, you can do that makes it a little bit neater. Then I can put my flowers back on this one. And, uh, yeah. Kind of put them in there. I might put this in here. Kind of put it underneath a little bit. So I've got a little bit of greenery. And there, see? And then I'll put another one up here. And what I'll do, I like these ones. They're so cute. And I'll just take one of these and put it on this side. And then I'm going to put a plain one. I want one of these plain ones here. Um, let's see. Trying to do every other one or something like that, kind of. I don't know if I got that many plain ones. Mm, here are some plain ones here. And we'll put some plain ones there. So, yeah. Here. So you can kind of see what it's going to look like. That's pretty cool, I think. There you go. And it's pretty. Now, if you can get the yellow ones... You know, you might like them better. Um, this will look nice outside on the door. I mean, I have a white door, so it looks nice. And uh, the house is, you know, a light beige. So, um, so it should be fine. And I'm just going to cut some more of this stuff up. And we're going to put some more on there. And we'll just do a little bit here. Cut this stuff. This stuff is, I think this was a great idea. I would have never thought of this. It's not on my own. I'm not that creative. <laughs> Unfortunately, but at least, you know, I found something that would work, you know. Um, and I think uh, for for my Valentine wreath, I'll eventually might um, go back and, and work on it, too. And the other thing is, I got to take these flowers out here, just so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, what she did, she did the whole thing with these first before she arranged her flowers. But I'm kind of doing it as I go, so yeah. So it won't be so hard, and I can see what I'm doing and what I want, and you know. I mean, some people might not want to do it like me. They might want to, you know, see the edges right there. It's just tor terrible. Because you're going around a curve, so it makes it harder. I might have to put some this way and block it in, so then it will be a little bit nicer. And then I'll do it like this. Yeah. I'm just pushing it in there, but I'm going to use these ties and tie it so then it'll stay. So, yeah. And then just tie, tie, tie. She 
don't want it to come apart. That's for sure. Trying to get it underneath and it's bending on me. Alright, might not be quite long enough. I can make it work maybe. Yeah, I just didn't make it quite long enough. So let's get us another paper. I mean another paper. Oh my god. Another string here and we'll make it longer. Rather have it too long than not long enough, you know. You can always cut them off and use them somewhere else. So and we'll just do it like that. Uh oh. Yeah. And I wanted to see how it was gonna work, so that's why I didn't do the whole thing yet with these, but I might end up doing it that way and then put my flowers in now that I know what I'm, I, I like it, it's, it will, hopefully it'll work, it will work, so. Takes a little time to kind of do this like that. Okay. And I'll just kind of lift it, put this underneath here. Come on. Just takes a few minutes. You gotta play with it. Just a playing thing. But I just thought this was really quite neat. And she had a heart one, so she used these just like I am on her heart one. I might not be quite doing as good as her though. But you know, it's just what it is. And then I'll tie it. Nice big knot. You want to make sure it's all the way on there with your phone. And you can do that. Make it sure it's nice and tight. Because you don't want it to fall off. You know. And there we go. I'm just going to cut these off. Put my flowers back in the way I like it. Yeah, this one's gonna go right here, and then we're gonna do down here, which is gonna be this, gonna be this here. Oop! Gotta be careful with these things. And we'll put it right here. And then we'll do a plain one <gasps> on the other side. And as you can see, you know, you, you're not going to see that foam eventually. I'm going to put some greenery in here too, I think. There. See? Looks cute, doesn't it? See how that worked? Very, very cute. So I'm going to continue this. Um, let's do, I want to do the bow one, this bow thing here. So I could put this one on the bottom here. I might do that because it has this here. Or I might put this one here. And put this one on the top here somewhere. Um, I don't know. I like this one. I think it looks nice there. And I might make me another one for up here. And then I'll do this one over here. And then I'll do one over here maybe. I'll do something like that. That'll look really cute. So anyways, I will um, make some more of this foam stuff up there and get it all done. And, um, and then we'll put some more flowers in here and I'll show you how to make those bows 
it's not as easy as it's, it continues to be. I, I bought some of this other stuff here too, but I'm not going to use it, I don't think, because I like this stuff better. And I bought the yellow too. I was going to put some yellow in there, but I don't think I will use those. So I'm going to do this with the foam, and then I will come back. So stay tuned. So this is how far I've gotten it so far. I did put this bow thing here, but these are wanting to curl for whatever reason. So I'm going to take a pencil and, and try to curl in the other way or a pen or something. Maybe they'll see. Maybe that's all I need to do is just kind of curl them a little bit. And they'll straighten. There we go. So we got that far. Hopefully you like it. I think it's turning out pretty good. This is what the back looks like with these on here. So... And not too bad. You can hide them. You can't see them. You know. You can see this one. I might put a flower or a leaf in there or something beside there. I might put a leaf there. So you can't see that one. But yeah. So far so good. We are outside. Uh, Shea Bear is using his drone tonight. And we're watching the lunar eclipse. So we should get some really cool shots. So make sure you watch Shea Bear 1000. Um, he'll probably have it up sometime tomorrow or very, very late tonight. Because I think the last episode of the lunar eclipse is around 2, 2.30. So, um, and he's trying to get at the stages as it's... Um, developing so he it is lightning outside today um it had rain so we were kind of concerned if we would be able to see it or not and so far he he saw a little bit so we we got some cool cool footage already it really cool so um yeah that's going to be fun and interesting to see so make sure you go to shaver 1000 and check out his videos he really works hard on them and uh yeah and i'm going to continue with this and we will show you when i finish it up so stay tuned i think it looks pretty okay guys so i finished it and there's the finished product right there and i put a little bow up on the top it i have a hook so i'm going to hook it up on my door and I'll take you over there and show you just a second. Okay, guys. So there it is on the door. And it looks pretty good. Um, I put some greenery in there. I didn't put a bunch in. You can do what you want. If you want more greenery, you can put it in there. I just put a little bit in there. Um, there you go. And you can make bows if you want. I didn't show you guys how to make bows. Um... I'm not very good at bows. So I'm practicing. So, um, it's not that. It's hard, but it's it's not that easy either. I mean, some of these girls make it look really easy. And I don't think it is. So, so there we go. So, just make it your own and that's it. So, it looks springy, summery. And that's, I think it'll look pretty. And it was easy and wasn't expensive to make. So, most everything I got here was from the Dollar Tree. And I like these wiry ones. Ribbon here. They're, they're really good. Now, see here, this thing here, it just curls. And I don't like it. I should have made it a little bit longer there. I might later. I could probably add onto it a little bit. But these wiry ones are easier to work with. A lot nicer. You can bend them. You can do whatever you want with them. So that kind of looks pretty. And then I kind of decorated up here a little bit. I don't really like my hook too much, but it's what I have. So, and I don't want to put anything in the door. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't show you all of it, but I showed you most of it. I mean, you all got the idea. I really like the idea of using the foam in behind. They do still kind of fall out a little bit, but not as bad. Um, and if you needed to, you can always put some hot glue gun. Um, hot glue in there and then poke them in the holes. And then they would probably stay better. So, there you go. 
So that concludes my video for today. And don't rem don't forget, we're doing a lunar eclipse today. So um, hopefully we can get it. Now it's cloudy a little bit, so I don't know how much we'll get, but hopefully we get it. We'll see. So stay tuned for that at Shaber One Thousand's uh, channel. And that's it for today. Monkey says she's out for now. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Thank you.